fine. Freeze to death. See if I care. She just kind of hopped up on the couch. They get pneumonia really easy. Big ounce sure would enjoy eating you. Is that Poppy? Get this beaver. He's coming right towards me. Chasing grackles in the parking lot. Skip it about no. There's going to be a lot of poop on those doors. He kissed me. You're being cringe. Get over here. Does the baby not want to go into the nice warm shelter? I love him. <laughs> Yeah, man, I have no idea where that other one is. Good morning, everybody. Winter is coming again, and now I am preparing to get these guys locked into here. For the winter, I need to put all of the rhea in this little area here because it's going to be cold and rainy, which can kill them. Luckily, this is a perfect fit. I just need to put this in here. And I'm going to put it along the corner where they shouldn't sit because this is going to get flooded if it rains a lot. You see, we have a taker. And also, if it's way back here, I can lock them in here a lot easier. I'm going to have to trap them. Okay. Hey, we're getting freezing rain in the next couple days, so I need to get this dang wobby into the barn. You're being mad cringe, children. Okay, I got the wobbies cornered right now. Okay, I have my assistant here holding this beam. I'm gonna see if I can walk on this side of him. Come on, okay. Come on, boy, get in that building. Boy, stop it, son. You're being cringe. Get over here. Okay, we got one in there. Also, we have this tortoise now that a nice couple gave to me. They couldn't take care of him anymore, and now he lives in here. So we need to close all these things up so he can stay nice and warm. What the duck's doing in here? Probably eating the goat food, honestly. He's gonna get up behind the baby and go... <laughs> The baby just grabbed the wallabies. I'm sorry, does the baby not want to go into the nice warm shelter? Does my little the adorable the baby boy not want to go into the nice warm shelter that I made for him? Okay, I finally did it. And now with all of the doors closed, the wallabies, the cappies, and these annoying chickens I can't get out of here, and this tortoise are going to be fine. I don't need to open these things and risk them escaping to get in and out now because I have this. Look how these chickens be sleeping up there too. And if I catch the chickens eating my cappy food, I'm just gonna kill them. Okay, I'm putting this first adorable little water bucket right here because I can easily dump it out in a place that is not the barn. So switching it out over the next three days whenever we're getting a ton of freezing rain will not be a problem. Look at these adorable little baby cappies. Chickens did make this adorable nest here and I might incubate these eggs, but I'm probably not going to do it. I kind of want these things out of here. Get your cringe out of my barn, boys. Get out of here. Go. Look at that one just sitting on the other one. Okay, you know what? Maybe I will let them hang out up here. There's going to be a lot of poop on those doors. Okay, this thing's almost done being filled up. Now I need to move it over there. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Do you think you can escape? <laughs> booga booga booga. This is how I'm going to have to fill this thing up. Good thing is these guys won't be pooping in the water and I might not even need to refill it in the entire time that they're in here but i am going to need to get some more hay because i want this whole area to be covered in hay for them how's this thing looking is it almost full you guys tell me in the comments is it almost full isn't that a funny joke because i'm filming it and chances are it's going to take me at least a couple hours to edit it Let alone i'm probably not even going to be posting it today so by the time you comment it it's going to be hours after this thing's full and it might even be overflowing right now <laughs> good evening everybody welcome back to the urban rescue ranch today i am chasing grackles in the parking lot at Cabela. Wow, you guys, look at this. Look how many there are. Look, they're letting me get so close to them. What on earth? People are just sitting here with grackles all over their car. Look at this car! There's literally a beaver just sitting here in the middle of this field eating. Look at this beaver. He's coming right towards me. Hello there. This thing might have rabies, honestly. I'm not even gonna... This is very weird for a beaver to be doing this. Did I grab his tail? <laughs> I could have easily grabbed that thing. Okay, good morning, doorknob. Okay, here she comes. Trying to attack me chasing after me like mad because she wants her bob off good evening everybody i finally found the right size diaper for this little dimgus she kept peeing on herself in the sack that's something the baby never did i also remember that the baby always had a diaper on him but the baby turned out just fine i think this adorable little girl will as well she just kind of hopped up on the couch to sit next to me like this and when she has a little diaper like this i can let her sleep in my bed so i'm gonna do that tonight good night Good night, everyone. It is me. It is me, office chair. Good night, everybody. I also saw this epic skunk while fishing. Also, guys, it's very important to have a lot of one-on-one -on -one cuddle time with a baby kangaroo, especially an orphan, so they can grow and develop naturally. And sadly, while I was fishing, my pet sitter gave her a little too much milk replacer in the bottle. All right, gamers, I just went ahead and dropped off uh, office chair with this very, very capable woman who has raised every animal you could possibly think of. She is 66 years old. The overfeeding disrupted her gut flora and made her not 
not want to eat or drink, which dehydrated her. Out of respect for her privacy, I'm not gonna say her name or anything about her. She is gonna be more than capable of taking care of her. Basically, she's gonna give her some isotonic fluids and then also treat her with an antibiotic and some other little preventative things and then make sure she's getting back on the bottle. Now, when I have my rehab permit and we have all of the materials for that, for all of the wildlife, we'll be able to legally use that for other animals as well. Either way, she's in the best hands she could possibly be in. I'm thoroughly convinced of that now. Like I said, she's raised dozens of kangaroos and she tested her blood sugar and it's a bit low. We also did the little pinch test and we saw that she was dehydrated from her skin, so we gave her some fluids as well. Okay, now I need to get Kevin and these adorable babies inside here. Oh, come on, come on in. We're so close. Okay, four out of five is not bad at all. Now I just need to get that little fella in here. They get pneumonia really easy. Okay, we just got some feed and a ton of hay dropped off. Ducks and geese are going to be more than fine in the cold weather. Those things live in the far north northern region but i am gonna get that little dingus that's still outside good morning adorable baby would you like to not freeze to death now that it's down to just one there's no way i can catch him without releasing these ones so i'm just gonna have to go ahead and grab them okay the gang is all here now i had to pick him up it was adorable but i couldn't film that safely the legs are really fragile and she was kicking a lot she's walking just fine she's gonna be able to rest for a while now i may spread some hay on the ground in here but for the most part i just need to keep them well fed so the best thing i can do is just pour all this in here so their metabolisms will be cooking non-stop that'll keep them all very warm man kevin really just went right for my eye and he just barely missed and bada bing bada boom these guys are gonna be nice and dry in here now ostrich and emu are a lot more hardy than Rhea, so they shouldn't need as much of a precaution but i will feed them double to stay warm okay all these animals are nice and comfy in here i need to spread out some more hay in this area the cappy blappies are vibing our new tortoise is doing well and is nice and warm under this heat lamp but i think i'm gonna go ahead and bring the tortoise inside i just spread out a ton more hay over here so these guys are gonna be nice and warm in here now i just need to go ahead and take care of this adorable little boy and i'm gonna get these chickens out of here because they keep pooping on this thing uh-oh cappy's escaped all right let's get the chickens out come on kids get out of here freedom isn't as nice as you guys thought it would be is it huh it's pretty dang cold out here isn't it you little dinguses get back inside come on go get no man these little dinguses are fast there's so many times whenever I'm trying to get them inside and I just think, you know what? Fine. Freeze to death. See if I care. And then they just walk straight in. Okay, now there's no more chickens stealing their food so I can fill up the food bowls again. They've got their nice little water bowl there. They got plenty of food in the light. You know what? I think I'm going to bring this tortoise inside and I'm going to soak it in the shower. <laughs> but first, I'm going to abandon all my animals again and visit Camp Kennan down in South Florida. He also needs to move his tortoises inside as well. Okay, goodbye all of my animals that I'm abandoning in the middle of a winter storm. <laughs> you guys, I'm here with Kennan from What's Camp Kennan. He is hurting this adorable little baby girl what's her name this is darwin man she's 27 year old galapagos tortoise darwin and it's getting really cold tonight which is how cold it's cold is 47 degrees in florida that's really cold 47 so. degrees so yes, we're getting is. her to go over into there check it out there wow. is Socrates. On your left is Nostradamus. That's an Aldabra tortoise. And then Socrates is another young Galapagos tortoise. Did, can any of them crossbreed? They, I've never seen anything like that happen with this particular species. These two species I have seen like a redfoot tortoise and a sulcata tortoise hybridized. But these guys haven't done it. We had a little tiny sulcata, but then I gave it back to a buddy after a while. She was not nearly as big as that. Yeah, this guy was born right around 2000. Is this as big as they get? Full so if you weren't doing this these guys would eventually freeze to death so many consecutive nights of being cold eventually these animals would get a cold they get a respiratory problem they get pneumonia really easy oh uh, okay so basically just having a hose running 72 degree water into here will keep it fine for the caiman keep it fine for the caiman like most crocodilians at night they want to go in the water because mm -hmm. the water holds the temps better than the air these are called smooth front caiman the females under the log and that's mm. the male right there. Wow. And then is this one aggressive at all? No, not at all. They're pretty shy. That being said, you know, just don't jump in and start wrestling them because okay. pound for pound, these things are gnarlier than alligators. Yeah. This species only gets to be five foot max. I'm going to go ahead and put her in there I'm going to 
put her in and hope for the best. I hope she doesn't turn around and come at me. He's already in there. And she doesn't fight with him. They have a happy nope, marriage. They're good. They're good. What a beautiful enclosure this is. Polystyrene foam yep, for this. I tried to do like a scape. Yeah. But their claws are so sharp they dug through it. But now it's yeah. insulated on the outside. And then I just took all these twigs and stuff and, and screwed them in. And very cool. Man, this sure is some nice natural vegetation. Isn't that awesome? Not nearly as nice as what I have, but it's getting there. The slinky. Yeah. What is he, now? What is he again? He is an Asian water model. I love this lizard. Yeah, he kissed me. He did, man. There is a video out there on my channel where he almost died from the cold. It said to him, if you pull through, buddy, I'm going to build you the most amazing enclosure. And I kept my word. It's got two heaters. Yeah. What a beautiful little thing for him, too. So you have this whole area just for slinky? Just for slinky. Man, what an awesome enclosure. I like giving the animals what they deserve. I enjoy space and it makes it easier for me and better for the animals as well. Can you do me a favor? Just go put him in the heated shelter for me. Okay, all right. I'm going to go ahead and put him in your heated shelter and definitely not feed him to my prairie dog. <laughs> but we did it, you guys. We did it. We got a free tortoise. Big ounce sure would enjoy eating you, little man. Tortoise moment. I hope to someday put tortoises in bins with my children. This boy right Okay, here. so right now we're doing Easter egg hunts for these little radiated tortoises. Yeah, man, I don't know where the last one is. I guess it's, I guess it's gone missing. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, check something in my car real quick. Yeah, man, I have no idea where that other one is. Oh, a little See, egg. A little yeah. egg, too. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and put this right in your incubator yeah, inside. You. Okay, That's yep. Yep, just put that right. Is that you, Poppy? You moved all the way here. Wow. There's a little scar on his tail. Look, this one's half blind. He's got a little blind eye. It is now canon that Poppy moved to Florida to retire. Hey, it's me, Cardi Bingus. Don't forget to like this video or a seagull will get you. Wow, wasn't that fun, you guys? I'm so glad that none of my animals died in the amount of time it took me to drive to south florida and back i'm gonna go ahead and put this big boy inside just like camp cannon does come on my big handsome man it's time to take you into my living room <laughs> look how perfect he is you guys i love him <laughs> well this ain't no camp cannon but this farm sure is coming along <laughs> what do you guys think we should name him i was thinking tank you know like tank from the hit youtube channel urban rescue ranch also i am starting to hear rats in my attic again <laughs> but there's only one up there i don't know how big it is but it sounds pretty big now i guess the only thing we have left to check on is the ounces let's go ahead and see how they're doing in here this light is actually warming up the place and providing uv rays i can hear them moving around down there but i'm sure they're sleeping right now and i don't want to annoy them just threw a bunch of nice prairie dog food over here and they have all their water ounce topia is ready for the winter look at those cringe crows i also finally finished the foundation of the new building by myself before you know it this is gonna be a nice big hole there's already ice forming here this ice wasn't here an hour ago petunia is in here experiencing pure bliss she has this whole place to herself and she has lots of hay to burrow down in. look at this happy boy he's gonna be nice and warm all night tonight here they are in their nice new home <laughs> <laughs> all right everybody i love you i appreciate you thanks so much for watching my video bingus is doing much better now she's been on fluids and she's been getting treated with an antibiotic and she's even had some teenage kangaroos to teach her how to eat solid foods she's making a recovery please keep praying for her she's doing much better i'm gonna show you guys the fan mail in the next video but for now uncle ben's got a lot of work to do i'm gonna go check on bingus and do a bunch of other things i love you appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Ah!